Hey guys, my name is Jacob Taraguchi, and uh, this is my vlog for week one um, regarding communication and business. Um, basically, a time where I could have been more organized, clear, concise, and punctual was uh, the first time I had to negotiate a real estate contract. Um, I have five years of real estate experience, and uh, I mean, after about three years, I was given the opportunity to start negotiating contracts with houses and things like that, and that was a pretty big deal for me. I was pretty excited about it, uh, but at the same time, I was very ill-prepared for it. Um, things that I could have done, uh, definitely been a lot, a lot more organized, because in real estate, there's a ton of paperwork that you have to deal with. Uh, you know, as far as the actual contract, you know, it's anywhere from 30 to 50 pages of just straight paperwork, and then there's all the signing and things that you have to do in between that as well. Um, the contract was pretty organized because they print that out for you, so it was a little bit easier. Um, as far as everything else goes, though, uh, I was very ill-prepared. I mean, I had all these papers and stuff. I didn't have any folders or binders or anything like that. I just had, like, this wad of papers, and it was it was pretty terrible, uh, a little bit embarrassing, and an overall bad experience. Um, as far as being clear goes, I would say that I was very clear, uh, but I wasn't getting the point across very well. I wasn't being very concise at all. I uh, I didn't like stutter or anything like that. I didn't you know act like I didn't know anything, but I definitely rambled a lot. Uh, went on off on a lot of tangents that I didn't need to. And when you're selling something, uh, you know, being you know keeping it short and simple is really important. Um, you know, as far as being concise goes, because you get the point across just enough for them to understand it. Uh, if you start rambling and and going on and on with everything, they're gonna they lose interest in it as time goes along. It's a very important part of uh, selling something much less a house because it's hundreds of thousands of dollars. Um, so, I mean, in not being concise, I wasn't being very clear because I kept, you know, messing up and letting them, and telling them things that didn't, that didn't need to hear, making things unclear for them. Uh, as far as being punctual goes, uh, I've never really had a problem with that, to be 100% honest with you. I'm a very punctual person. I, like, lose respect for you if you're not on time. Uh, you should always be you know, if, if it's a business thing, I'm going to be 30 minutes early. Uh, if it's for work, I'm going to try to be anywhere from 20 to 30 minutes early. Uh, if I'm just meeting a friend, I'm going to be trying 10 to 15 minutes early. And, uh, you know, if you're five minutes late, you know, it's like, it's not hard. You know what time to show up. If there's a set time, you should be there on time. Punctuality is uh, extremely important to me. Um, I mean, as far as, as far as things that I could have done to make it better because what happened is um, we did end up selling the house but it was, a, it was a smaller one and it wasn't a very big deal that's why I got to do it but um, I mean I definitely could have hurt the company's image because communication uh, it does reflect who you're representing so you know I was for Caldwell Banker Brokerage and uh, as for a company for them for someone like me because I was only 18 at the time uh, for someone like me to go into there and you know, represent the company like that as far as, kind of, it kind of seems unprofessional to be 100% honest. Uh, for me to do that makes Coldwell Banker look unprofessional, it makes my managers look unprofessional, uh, and it just was all around a bad experience for everybody. Uh, hopefully the people enjoyed their house though, I didn't really stay in contact with them or send them any Christmas cards. But uh, as far as um, how I communicated, I feel like I communicated well, but there was definitely different situations because in real estate, you're going to deal with a, a bunch of different kinds of people. You know, you're going to deal with groups, you're going to deal with a husband and wife. Sometimes you're going to deal with just the husband or just the wife, and the other person doesn't even know. Um, probably shouldn't do that, it's unethical, but, you know, it's commission-based, so I'm trying to make some money. Um, <laughs> but as far as that goes, I mean, depending on who you're talking to, you need to use different strategies of communication. Um, you can like as far as interpersonal, uh, you know, and, and and then there's group communication and things like that. Because sometimes you're dealing with investors. You know, you're dealing with three to four different groups of people. You're gonna have to communicate to those kinds of people differently. Make sure everyone's on the same page. Uh, and if you're organized, clear, concise, uh, the point's gonna get across better. Everyone's gonna understand. And uh, you should just always be on time, anyways. Um, but that's it for my vlog, uh, number one. Um, thanks.